hello everyone welcome back to my channel daniel here from golden vines and i am back with another what thrift video so this is going to be a thrift with me session and of course you guys know that there's always going to be a haul at the end so make sure that you guys finish this video all the way through the end so you guys can see what made it home and also i do have a small giveaway that i will be doing as well it will just last for a few days so make sure that you guys stay tuned to find out about all the details on how you can join in for this lovely special giveaway so without further ado if you're new to my channel welcome my name is daniel and here on golden pines you will find ray done you will find thrifting estate sale hauls uh, Christmas, Halloween, a little bit of everything that has to do with decor and thrifting and all of the above. If that sounds like it's for you, then I welcome you to hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you guys hit the notification bell so you're notified of all of my weekly videos. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much as always mwah, for coming back and gracing me with your presence here on YouTube. So I do have a special magic mail. My friend Celeste Thank you so much for the Valentine's Day card. This is absolutely gorgeous. Celeste, you are so creative when it comes to crafting and making cards extra, extra special. She sent me a happy Valentine's Day card. I absolutely love it. Celeste, as soon as I saw this, when I opened it, I right away thought Kate Spade. It was giving me like Kate Spade vibes and I absolutely love it. So on the inside, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is what I absolutely love about Celeste. She includes so many personal items and quotes and pictures and just a bunch of adorable emephra. Like look, she even includes a Goldie for our Goldie Retriever, Bella. She includes my husband, Joe, and it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. So thank you, thank you so much for this beautiful card, my friend. So let's go ahead and get started with the Shop With Me session and make sure you guys stay tuned for the haul and make sure to also stay tuned for that special giveaway and how you can enter to join in so let's go ahead and get shopping let's go ahead and see what i found at the thrift store rain or shine it doesn't matter we will go thrifting so this day was a rainy day when i was thrifting you guys my very first find of the day was this starbucks barista mug for four dollars and 99 cents it really looked like no one had ever used this mug you guys and i think someone dropped off their entire starbucks collection because here's another one this is part of the barista collection that features like different cities and countries there's this roma mug i thought these were gorgeous these are very highly collectible four dollars and 99 cents this was from the tabitha brown collection but i had a very hard time trying to figure out if it was a collection that came out this year or if it was last year so i thought that was really interesting and the candles are so gorgeous i love the votives and all the bright colors here we have this itsy i think it's itty bitty it's itty bitties they're like a hallmark exclusive of disney's and other items that was so cute of ariel wash your hands you guys want to make sure that you're always washing your hands and practice good hygiene this is part of the hearth and hand collection from target and look at this beautiful star you guys know that i found this at goodwill also during the christmas season i was very happy and pleased to see that it was still uh, that i found another one and it was four dollars and 99 cents brand new with a tag and I thought this teapot was so interesting. Look at the spout. It's an owl and he's wearing a hat. It's what's totally giving me Harry Potter vibes. I thought it was so cool. I love how the spout is like the book that it's reading. And here are some of the trees. Now these are originally from Target and I know that I did not want to spend a lot of money on these because I caught them for very cheap when they were on clearance at Target and Goodwill was selling them for a lot more expensive. A little bit of Halloween here and there. Here are some LED pumpkin lights from Walmart. They were still brand new in their box. And I also came across this trick or treat sign that I thought was just so precious. I absolutely love Goodwill because they always have holiday decor all year round. 
and here are some hearth and hand finds this is a cook set it's a toy that is made out of completely out of wood all the pieces and they're so adorable i absolutely love the hearth and hand with magnolia toys that she releases they're absolutely so adorable and perfect for playtime and here are some more hearth and hands so i also find a lot of the dishware this was such a beautiful set these plates for nine dollars and 99 cents and bath and body works candles you guys these are always so cool to find i am such such an obsessive person over candles i love how i find them at my thrift stores this was so neat i think it was a picture frame i wasn't too sure but i love the owls popping out on the other side i thought it was such a cool and interesting piece and i came across some very done happy saint patrick's day this garland was two dollars and 99 cents it was in a weird section at the thrift store but nonetheless it was such a cool piece that's why i always recommend that you guys search every single aisle because you never know what you might find things are always placed in the wrong section here we have some vintage christmas two dollars and 99 cents this is so adorable i love it now it is broken so do you guys think that i bought this i'm not too sure it's so cute and adorable but look at that big broken piece oh my gosh and some ray Dunn feast in this orange little mini i don't know what this really you what you would really use this for it was a dollar 99 but it was 50 percent off that day but it was so cute and more hearth and hand you guys it literally was a really good day for hearth and hand these tear stamps were so nice i really loved it but at 20 dollars I know that they are cheaper than at Target, but still, I couldn't find it in myself to pay $20. Is your house farmhouse-ish? This is 99 cents and it came directly from Hobby Lobby, still brand new. So adorable. My house is kind of like farmhouse-ish. Here are some Target dollar spot section items, $2.99 for these glass jars these are so precious i love the black lids on top here are some more of those trees that i found this is what i was talking to you guys about i found these literally for like 99 cents and a dollar uh a dollar 40 at target when they were on the clearance section out uh christmas after christmas and goodwill is selling them just for half of what target originally sold them for so that was kind of a big no-no for me just because i didn't want to spend too much and i found another set of these gingerbread ornament cookies these are so precious i had found the first uh set that i found at goodwill as well there's hubby you can kind of see him he was there with me shopping that weekend and this pottery barn mug with santa oh so precious i love 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 when i find a good santa mug this is from their 2015 collection so definitely a few years old and last but not least i found this really cute heart in hand with magnolia snowflake christmas mug let's get ready for the haul now before i do get on with the haul i wanted to wish you all a wonderful wonderful what where, whatever day you may be watching this i hope that you're having a wonderful day we are leading into the weekend and i definitely need it it's been a very long week for me and i have a lot of things going on but i will definitely share that with you guys in a future video i did mention that when i did my uh, valentine's day hutch decorate video so i do have that coming out so this is like the first full-on week that it's just been so crazy i'm trying to get things done i have a lot of stuff i'm doing i'm getting motivated by a lot of you um you know that you guys are doing decluttering videos like mariela and then also my friend Giselle from Giselle Virali. So I just, I'm getting motivated to clean my house, my house and declutter because I'm an avid thrifter. So of course a lot of stuff is gonna come into my home. So let's go ahead and get on with the haul so I can make sure that I give you guys enough time and info about the special giveaway. So let's go ahead and no specific order. Let's go ahead and start. 
So I picked up the beautiful star, you guys. Yes, I already have one for Christmas. I did find one for the Christmas season and it's already tucked away with everything else that has to make its way to the storage facility. Um, this was $4.99 at Goodwill. Again, it's absolutely gorgeous. Many of you have seen this, the gold foil. I just love the color and the effect. So this is originally a threshold piece and it was originally, uh, I think it was originally $10. Yes, it still has the original tag from Target. So of course I had to have another one. You can never have enough gold, glittery, shiny things and shining, shimmering, splendid, Aladdin vibes, anyone? So yeah, you guys, I love glitter. I love gold. So it was a no brainer for me. I could always use it with the other piece and create like this beautiful piece in an entryway or wherever. Again, my mentality is I'm going to buy it because I will have a bigger home eventually that, you know, I'll need a lot more items. So next up, I picked up the Hearth in Hand mug. This is a stoneware mug. Absolutely gorgeous with the red snowflake. This is part of the Christmas collection. Only 99 cents. Hearth and Hand with Magnolia is originally from Target. You guys can see the logo at the bottom. Hearth and Hand amazingly does very well in my uh, stores and my reselling stores. It's interesting because these are items that you can get at Target, but I know there's probably like maybe older collections that she has tweaked and changed a lot of her mugs and stuff. So maybe people like the older stuff, but it's a really good size mug and only for a dollar. And I know that they sell well in my stores. So that was an easy no brainer as well. Keeping with Hearth in Hand, I also picked up this beautiful concrete candle. I am obsessed with candles, you guys. I don't know what it is. I have a bunch a bunch and a lot of them have accumulated because of Goodwill. I thrift so many brand new Bath and Body Works candles. So I don't know what it is. I just love stocking up on them. But this one smells so nice. It's like a very clean, it's a zest. It's again, mini cement zest candle. It was $2.99. Um, they are covering up the original price tag that was at Target. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to share it with you guys. I'll see if I can find it if it's still being sold in stores. But again, it's brand new. Absolutely gorgeous. Zest. I love these concrete candle holders too. Next up with Target. A lot, I'm telling you, there's a lot of Target stuff. And again, for those of you who are new, I do find a lot of Target items that make their way over to my Orange County Goodwill stores. Here are those little jars that are from the dollar spot section. I, I know a lot of people love these, so I found these. They were a two-pack. They were $2.99. They were originally, I believe, $5. So these are brand new. I don't know if they were a return because they're, or maybe the plastic ribs because they are completely wrapped with, wrapped with duct tape at the top. So I don't know. But I'm going to see what I can use them maybe in my bathroom or maybe in an area that I want to keep organized. So I knew that had to come home with me as well. A little bit of Ray done. I found this little feast. It's kind of like a little, um, I don't know what these really are. I mean, they're not really for sauces, but you could put a sauce in here, like if you were serving it for Thanksgiving. On the inside, it says feast. It was $1.99, but at the time that I did thrift this, it was 50% uh, off, so it was only a dollar. And it looks like a little mini, mini sized loaf pan, but I think this is for something else. Um, I don't really know what you would put in here. Maybe like cranberries, you know, if you want to put like cranberries to serve in Thanksgiving or something like that, you know. So I thought 99 cents, you can't beat it for that. And more hearth and hand, you guys. These are older signs. So Hearth and Hand with Magnolia released a bunch of these signs. It usually comes with hardware as well. This is only the sign. It was $2.99. Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. It says, wash your hands. I thought this would be such a cute plaque to either one, put in my restroom, bathroom, or to the kitchen. But I think it's going to lean towards more of my bathroom. And I know that she has redesigned this entire like line. There's a different style. It doesn't look like this anymore, but this is definitely giving me the farmhouse vibes. And next up we have the 
Pottery Barn Santa mug. So this mug is absolutely gorgeous. Only the face is colored in like a skin color and then the mouth in a pink color. It was $1.99. Now this mug is crazed. It does have crazing all over the mug. But again, that didn't bother me. I thought this would be such a cute collectible. This is from their Christmas 2015 collection. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love it. You guys know that I love Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, this is a vintage find. Now, I know that I have spoken to a few of you in the comments about whether or not you buy chipped items. This is a chipped item. It was $2.99 and it's chipped right here. His whole arm is missing. This is a vintage piece and I believe this is a... Uh, if I get it wrong, I will go ahead and put the correct name right here. I believe it's a home co and it's absolutely gorgeous. The paint is chipping as well. Um, but again, I, I love vintage Christmas. So I know that this would have ended up in the trash if Goodwill was not able to sell it and then they clear it off because what Goodwill does is they circulate items throughout different Goodwills. So this would have gone to another Goodwill possibly if it didn't sell. And I feel like within that transport, it would have broken even more. So I decided to save it. For Valentine's Day, I found this cute little ornament. It's giving me all the vintage vibes. 99 cents. This looks like it's something from Hobby Lobby. Not too sure. It's giving me like those vibes, like the things that I put in my hutch, which those I did get from Hobby Lobby. So who knows? Maybe it is from Hobby Lobby. Then back to candles bath and body works you guys i find again a lot of bath and body works candles i found two single wicks these are brand new this is cinnamon caramel swirl and then this is a marshmallow fireside this one was two dollars and 99 cents i believe this was a dollar it didn't have a price tag i already smelled that one earlier this one smells so good. It smells so woodsy, cabiny, but also like with a touch of like, I don't know if it's ginger or something like that, but it smells really, really good, you guys. And these are originally $14.50 at Bath and Body Works. Back to Target, we're making like a full circle. I found this Hearth in Hand with Magnolia. So lots of Hearth in Hand today, you guys. Hearth in Hand with Magnolia Kitchen Scale. This is brand new. I checked it at Goodwill before I bought it. Everything is still intact. It's still sealed and everything. It is crazy. So again, my Goodwill sell them for half the price that you would find at Target. So this was originally $20. I got it for $9.99. I absolutely love that little kitchen scale. One, I'll either use it what it's actually intended for or I will keep it for decor because it's absolutely so cute. Now the last items before I get on with the giveaway, I absolutely love this when I found it, you guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's such a cute neutral piece. I don't know if this was handmade. Um, this, which is kind of like to grab it, you know, put it around your wrist, kind of looks like it's a handmade piece, uh, but this kind of doesn't. But again, it might be, I'm pretty sure it was handmade because how else would you really get all this beautiful embroidery and the design of it? It's just absolutely gorgeous. It was $2.99. It really drew me in because it was giving me that, uh, again, that like neutral look. And this is a fan. I absolutely love it, but I'm not going to be using it as a fan. I will most likely be using it as decor, either standing it up or hanging it somewhere. But I just thought it was gorgeous. And then for Ray Dunn, I found some St. Patrick's Day decor. So this is a garland sign. It was $2.99 at Goodwill. And it's for St. Patrick's Day. You guys can see it has the clovers, the little hat, and then it says St. Patrick's Day. The ends are very rough as in like they are almost finished i can simply just cut these apart i could even take this all apart and use the pieces in something else there's lots of use and life still in this so i was really happy that i came across that and then last but not least more target finds and actually one item that is not from goodwill i did find the target little tear tray prop decor 
that came out for Valentine's Day. It comes with a little envelope that says, P.S. I love you. And then the little mailbox with the little um, flag that goes up and down to notify you if the, you have mail. And then the little special delivery truck. Again, I'm still debating if I'm going to be doing a tear tray. I might be doing a tear tray just to do for like St. Valentine's Day to kind of get into the spirit of St. Valentine's Day. So I don't know yet, but we shall see. And then I found another hearth in hand with Magnolia. I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of ha hearth in hand with Magnolia items at my Goodwills. So this is so cute. It's just like a few little picks. I think these are supposed to be some type of berries. Um, the These were $1.99. I bought two of them. It has a cute clear little vase, $1.99. If I find it at Target, I will go ahead and add a screenshot of the comparison of how much it costs in the store. Um, not everything that they sell at Goodwill is half priced off from Target. Like, I don't know if that was originally maybe $4 at Target, but I shall see. I'll do the research and post it. And last but not least, I found another one of these, you guys. So I did find one of these before during the Christmas season, and I used them for my kitchen. And I hang them up like if they were actual gingerbread cookies. So I found this other one, and this was $3.99. This was originally from the Target Wonder Shop. You guys can see the salvage sticker and absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to use them for next holiday season and have more because, you know, it doesn't hurt to have more. So that is the end of the haul. Make sure that you guys let me know in the comments below what was your favorite item from this entire haul. And let's go ahead and get on with the special giveaway that I am hosting. And let's go ahead and mention everything all about it so you guys can join in. Okay, you guys. So I absolutely love, love, love spreading joy and happiness and helping others as much as I can. It truly has always been a passion for me, helping people in any way possible. So I wanted to go ahead and give back to my amazing friends here on YouTube with a special giveaway. So this is going to be called Spreading Love. The Spreading Love giveaway is super easy to join in, you guys, and it will only require a few things for you to do. So before I get on with the explanation, let me go ahead and tell you guys what is included in the giveaway. So it's going to be including this little cute Dollar Tree like basket thing. It's like a little treat bucket. It's a little bucket and inside of it has some goodies. So it includes a cute Valentine's Day card because this is, again, spreading the love. So it's going to be like Valentine's Day themed. So there's a special uh, Encanto. I absolutely love that movie from Disney. Valentine's Day card. It also includes like a little wood heart. So just like a cute little decor things in there. There's some glitter hearts. There's some glitter confetti. There's also some Starbursts and some Skittles, you know, to keep it fun and for uh, Valentine's Day. And then also included in this haul, um, in this giveaway bucket is going to be a few gift cards. So it's going to be a $5 gift card to Target and also a $5 gift card to, to Starbucks. So you can go to Target and enjoy some shopping and also have a Starbucks at the same time. So again, a $5 gift card to Target and a $5 gift card to Starbucks will be included in this little treat bucket. So nothing will be required from you you will not have to pay for anything you won't have to pay for shipping everything will be done by me i will only require a shipping address for me to send that out to you guys so this giveaway is going to be very short just because i want to make sure that i get it out to uh whoever the winner is by before valentine's day so it's going to be for open for let's see i'm going to release this video on friday so it will give you guys saturday it will give you guys sunday monday tuesday tuesday will be the date that i will announce the winner so monday will be the last day for you to enter for you to be able to win this giveaway so in order to join in, you must be a resident in the United States. I do apologize for my um, international friends. Unfortunately, I'm not able to do um, international shipping at the moment. So again, you must live in the United States and you must be publicly subscribed. So you must be subscribed to my channel here on Golden Finds. 
and also you must be subscribed to the wonderful and beautiful Lynette Lisa Lynette for those of you who may not know who Lisa Lynette she is a wonderful sweet soul she has been on YouTube for a while and she does amazing decorating and thrift hauls she goes to a lot of vintage sales and uh, she does thrifting and ray done and decorating and so much more. A lot of you may not know um, exactly what is going on with Lisa at the moment right now. She has been MIA from YouTube and she has been going through a health journey. If you aren't aware of what is going on with Lisa, I really recommend that you head on over to her channel and check her out and her amazing videos. She truly is such a sweetheart. She is so funny and so cute and I just adore her so much. She has been such a wonderful friend here on YouTube and I just really wanted to give back to her for being just a joy in my life and you guys, I thought it would be such a treat. Now, I don't know if Lisa will be back on YouTube, but I thought what an amazing surprise for her to see when she does decide, if she decides to come back, that she could see that her channel has grown by subscribers. And I do hope that you guys do stay and support her and not just, you know, subscribe and not go back just because you want to join in the on the giveaway. That is really not the point of this. I really do want to spread the light on other YouTubers and help them reach their a thousand subscribers just like I did with my bestie Lynn who you guys helped as well from Lynn and Things to reach her thousand subbies. I would really really love to get Lisa to that point as well. So that way if she ever decides to come back on YouTube she can have growth. And if you guys want to leave a comment for her I will go ahead and link her channel in the description box below. Definitely make sure that you um I don't know if you can add like a the app symbol with her channel name so she can see it. I don't know if that works in the comments, but definitely try it if you want to leave a sweet message for her so that way she's able to see those messages as well. So again, very simple. You must be subscribed to my channel and also Lisa Lynette for this giveaway and you must also um, leave a comment down below so that way I can indicate if you would like to participate in this comment or uh, in this giveaway. <laughs> so if you guys want to participate in the giveaway, please leave a hashtag spreading love giveaway. Again, that is hashtag spreading love giveaway. This will be a clear indicator that you guys are interested in joining in on the giveaway. And I will again announce the winner next Tuesday. So that way you guys can find out who won. And then I will ship that out to you guys, whoever the winner is. All the details to this giveaway will be at the bottom of the description box below. And again, you must live within the United States to participate. So that is the end of this video, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you really go and check out the amazing Lisa from Lisa Lynette. Again, she's very wonderful. She's such a sweet soul. And I cannot wait that, you know, for her to come back on YouTube if she only decides to. There is no pressure whatsoever, my friend. If you are watching Lisa, there is no pressure. Take your time and we will still be here for you if you decide to come back to YouTube. And I'm sending you love and kisses and lots of blessings, my friend. I hope that you are well. So again, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, this is Daniel from Golden Finds wishing you a wonderful week and ahead. Happy shopping and happy thrifting, you guys. Bye, everyone.